Back in 2015, I did a video called The Most Heavily Armed States in America, and I've gotten a lot of feedback on that video recently about doing an update. So I'm going to do just that. If you want to know what the top 10 most heavily armed states in America are right now, then you're going to want to watch this video. I can't wait to show it to you. Before I jump into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's Lear Capital. Last year was a terrible year for investors, and predictions are that 2023 will be even worse with the upcoming recession. But what did have a really impressive year this past year was gold investments. And 2023 is looking even better as some experts predict gold will be up 100% to $4,000 an ounce. If you're interested in investing in gold, I suggest you call my friends at Lear Capital. The team at Lear will provide helpful information about purchasing gold or converting part of your IRA or your 401k into a gold IRA. Not only are they the best around with over 25 years in business and thousands of five-star reviews, but they also have a 24-hour risk-free guarantee where you can review your investment for 24 hours before committing to it. You can learn more at leargg.com or call 1-800-260-5075. Not only will Lear Capital give you your gold and silver investment guides, but you'll also get up to $15,000 in free bonus medals with the qualified purchase. So check them out again, leargg.com, 1-800-260-5075. Thanks to Lear Capital for sponsoring this video. First off, look at this dude, hair. <laughs> Who's this guy? But uh, uh, what I'm gonna tell you now is numbers that we get from the ATF. And this is the top 10 states with registered, registered firearms as of 2020, the last time the full list has come out. I'm gonna give you the top 10 states, the number of total registered firearms, according to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, which according to them will change rapidly within the next 120 days, starting today actually. Today is day one of the pistol brace registration window. Uh, and then I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you the breakdown of how many destructive devices, how many SBRs, how, stuff like that. So here we go, without further ado, let's start out with number 10. At number 10, we have Alabama. Alabama has 177,732 registered firearms based off of ATF annual statistical data of 2020. And that breakdown is here on the screen. 81,684 destructive devices, 32,529 machine guns, 52,066 silencers, 7,731 short barrel rifles, 2,472 short barrel shotguns, and 1,250 AOWs or any other weapon. And guys and gals, if guns were the problem, you would know. This proves that criminals are the problem, not us law-abiding gun owners, because these are people who actually went out, paid the extra tax for a permission slip by uh, from the ATF to have these items lawfully, according to the NFA. So number 10, Alabama, already really impressive. The next on the list is Ohio. Ohio at number nine has 187,478 registered firearms. And Ohio's breakdown is 89,228 destructive devices, 21,870 machine guns, 54,649 silencers, 13,253 short barrel rifles, 6,450 short barrel shotguns, and 2,028 AOWs. Coming in at number seven is North Carolina with 196,237 of these devices. Most of these are, I'm sure, from my friend, Mr. Guns and Gear. And North Carolina comes in with 103,068 destructive devices, 15,779 machine guns, 58,432 suppressors, 14,547 short barrel rifles, 3,382 short barrel shotguns, and 1,029 AOWs. Arizona comes in with 224,266. Uh, firearms registered with the NFA and the ATF. And Arizona's numbers come in at 113,085 destructive devices, 18,483 machine guns, 65,332 suppressors, 21,639 short barreled rifles, 2,844 short barreled shotguns, and 2,883 AOWs. 
Number six is Georgia, 251,503 registered firearms uh, with the ADIF. And Georgia's numbers are a thing of beauty. 85,418 destructive devices, 40,181 machine guns, 93,573 silencers, 18,267 short barrel rifles, 11,918 short barrel shotguns, 2,146 AOWs. Pennsylvania is next at number five with 317,858 registered firearms. And that's made up of 197,382 destructive devices, 20,626 machine guns, 66,260 suppressors, 17,433 short barrel rifles, 13,714 for short barrel shotguns, and 2,443 for AOWs. Number four is shocking to me, California. California has 386,795 registered firearms with ATF. They do have, I think, the most uh, firearm owners in the country because the state is so large. And the numbers in California will make Gavin Newsom's head explode. 308,759 destructive devices, 29,861 machine guns, 15,129 suppressors, 14,177 short barrel rifles, 14,392 short barrel shotguns, and 4,447 AOWs. California representing. Number three is Virginia coming in with 390,946 items registered with the ATF. And the Commonwealth of Virginia has some amazing numbers as well. 241,180 de destructive devices, 42,761 machine guns. That's beautiful. 71,688 suppressors. Awesome. 23,482 short barrel rifles, 8,811 short barrel shotguns, and 3,024 AOWs. And with numbers like this, guys and gals, you can see why the ATF and Joe Biden are so interested in getting more items registered because this is a lot of money they take in uh, charging us for our constitutionally guaranteed rights. Amazing. Now, before I get into the top two, what do you think they are? Let me know down below who's number two, who's number one, which one do you think takes the title for most registered firearms under the NFA with the ATF? This is, that's pretty impressive, let me tell you. Number two on the list of top 10 states that have the most registered guns is Florida with 497,078 items. Florida's numbers are astonishing. Florida has 256,059 destructive devices, 47,130 machine guns, 136,251 silencers. That's awesome. 43,000. 543 short barrel rifles, 10,115 short barrel shotguns, and 3,980 AOWs. Texas is next with 830,109 registered firearms. And guys and gals, like I said before, if guns were the problem, you would know about it. Texas's numbers will blow your mind. Texas came in with 297,000. 502 destructive devices, 43,729 machine guns, 401,861 suppressors, oh my god, 70,006 short barrel rifles, 9,459 short barrel shotguns, and 7,552 AOWs. Now, guys and gals, again, that was based off ATF numbers for 2020, the last full year that I could find. And that is astonishing. If you want more of this type of countdown, top 10s, maybe we'll do the, the, the worst 10, the lowest 10. Let me know what you want to see down below. And please share this because with today being day one of the 120-day registration of short barrel rifles by the Joe Biden administration, uh, they anticipate these numbers growing drastically because there's up to 40 million of those items already in circulation, which would make them common use, which would mean that it's an ex post facto law. All this good stuff, we know this all together. 
But with those just the top 10 states with the numbers in each category proves that guns are not the problem. It's mental health and it's criminals that need to be addressed. The people who own them lawfully and legally aren't doing the bad things. So leave us and our rights alone. Guys and gals, let me know what you think of this down below. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Want to see more like this? Subscribe to the channel down below. I'll keep you up to date every single day on the Second Amendment. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.